So the first page is made from grocery bags, which I've ironed together. Then I've glued on a piece of Pro Pack packaging. Has a little app here where you can store things if you'd like. On the back, it goes around the back as well. Okay, first page is a book page. I've used a piece of paint chip sample to make a corner tuck and the tags are just pull outs from the grocery store but I've actually got some quite nice recipes so they can use those for journaling or just as they are. The back of that page I used a slip from the lotto to make a tuck spot. The flower is made out of old scraps of wallpaper and the flourish is cut from an old calendar. Inside the tuck spot I've just got a flyer for a local art craft market, room on the back for journaling and the little map fold out also room for journaling. The next page is just a page from a children's book and on the back I've just used some paper that came as packaging in a parcel, plenty of room to stamp and journal. This page is made from a flyer from a retirement village. I've used a bit of packaging to um, cut out a Tim Holtz on the edge die, made a small tag out of packaging, made a pocket out of a piece of um, a page from a real estate brochure. Again, used the real estate brochure to make a little booklet with some scrap photocopy paper in it with plenty of room again for journaling and a tag just made from a book page with an old diary page on the back to provide more journaling. I do like to make things are useful so the idea is that you go straight in and use this journal. On the back of the page I've simply used a piece of calendar. This page is a brochure for um, a garden extravaganza that we have every year here. I've just made a little belly band and in it I've put a piece of Monopoly money with a bit of card on the back for journaling and a small piece of marble paper that um, I have been experimenting with and just a stamp on the front. This piece of book paper actually opens out and inside more of that white packaging paper so room for journaling. On the back of the page I have used a clothing tag and I've cut out a die from a piece of packaging. This is from a little inspiration booklet just that I've made into a little book there. The envelope is made out of pattern paper and an old telephone directory and inside there's a couple of journaling spots, bits of jelly printing I was playing around with. And the, car, the tags made out of a piece of packaging, room on the back for journaling. This is an old Christmas card with some book paper and serviette on it. And the pole was just a, what's left over from a piece of punching I did. And they just all tuck in behind the envelope. And that tucks in to keep it closed. This is a piece of, from a tissue box. And this is an old pill dispenser. I just punched out some yellow circles and just glued that on to make a tab. This is a um, piece of paper from the property press which I just um, gessoed and this is a, a little tile from a game. So on the back of that, little tuck spot, this is made from a paper, paper bag. This is the left side of the paper bag. So we've got a little bingo card with journaling on the back, another little card with journaling and a little booklet made from um, a tea bag packet. 
on this side I've used a piece of matte paper a little tag made from a book of Shakespeare's sonnets with paper on the back for journaling the little um, the tuck spot is a uh, doily and that's made out of a baby wipe which I'd use to wipe up some paint and ink and I just glued that to a piece of cardboard and then cut it with a die. Just plain on the back of the matte paper for journaling, a piece of scrap photocopy paper, journaling again, a little an old invitation from about the 70s, uh, room for journaling. This is actually a piece, a pattern, cover of a pattern, sewing pattern. I made a belly band with a paint chip sample. This is a, a piece from a Ferrero Rocher. There's a little um, bread tag and a tab from a tin with a button on it. Made a tag out of a piece of envelope and paper bag on the back. Um, and the, the pull tab on the tag is a piece of packaging. Um, and a sewing, a clothing card with room on the back for journaling. So inside the first page, a little piece of packaging is a tab on the on the top pocket. I lined it with some um, black writing paper that has just been lying around forever. Inside, I put a piece of homemade paper. This is just made of scrap paper, made it into a little booklet. As a tuck spot, I used a piece of a children's board book. And there's a, piece, a card from the Monopoly set, journaling on the back. Clothing tag and a piece from a calendar, again journaling on the back of both of those. On this page, I the back end of the page is actually the instructions from the sewing journal, sewing pattern. So I just glued in a little envelope and a... a tag using a bread bread packet closure piece of brown paper on the back for journaling that just slips in there again using the monopoly just made a little tuck spot room for journaling here with a bit of brown paper on top of the envelope and washi tape to hold it in these are pieces from an old pad I was given so again these for they can be used for journaling Place a piece of a zip at the top just to give it a little bit of texture and I just made a tag out of an old uh, uh, colouring book as a break from all the journaling I'll just sit and tag so I'll colour in if I want so on the back of that pad I've sewn in a plastic bag made a tag this is a clothing tag Put a bit of journaling on the back and this one is plain for journaling and just added a little piece of um, a grocery list for again more journaling and that just slots in there a piece of packaging just to make a tuck spot a um, piece of map that just folds out again for journaling this is the other side of the packaging and there's just a little tag and I just made a little ticket out of um, the pictures on the back of a calendar to add a bit of interest. Here's the other side of the plastic bag, which you could use to put things in. Here's a piece of tracing paper, which I put over the pattern instructions, so you can write on it if you wanted to. And just a little embellishment about using a tea bag. It's got Be Free on the front, and just a little journaling spot on the back. Here I've glued on a piece of Sudoku toilet tissue. I used an old Christmas card to make the little flap. The picture is from a scrapbooking um, cross stitch catalogue. And again, here's another one of these tickets I made from the backs of the um, calendar. And just a little tag made with another image from the um, 
catalogue and just some old diary pages on the back for journaling. So on this page I have used a paper bag that I was, I was given. Another pull out from the supermarket with recipes in. You can either use that for journaling or for the recipes. A little round card with um, plain pa with plain scrap paper on the back for journaling. Used a little jandle card as a tuck spot and another card with a puzzle as a, a tag topper and brown paper bag on the back for journaling. Up here I used some washing tape and just glued in a, an index card again for journaling. And this is a mega um, mega playing card it's all attached to. So on this side I've glued in a, um, a, a lolly packet and I've put in um, a blank Christmas card just for journaling. And this is a pull out from the supermarket which is actually a recipe and a colouring page. So use that to do some colouring or journaling. This is the other side of the invitation and I've added a piece of um, card for some journaling, journaling on the back, the other side of the scrap paper, the other side of the map. This is the other side of the paper bag. I've added some um, of the black paper for journaling. Um, some scraps and a, and a picture from the, the scrapbooking catalogue. In here I've put um, a playing card which I've gessoed and put paper on the back for journaling. A piece of file folder that was left over. I've just made into a little journaling pad spot. And a um, postcard. these just tuck in here. On the top here I've made a tag out of leftover, um, what's left over when you push out the alphabets on a chipboard alphabet, backed up with a piece of um, Hubbard's cardboard from the cereal box and on the back it's just plain for journaling and that just sits into the top of the paper bag there. In the tuck spot here I've just used some packaging, journaling on one side, use paint chips as the tab and just a New Zealand um, postcard to go in there as well. This is the back of the um, paper bag page and I've used um, matchbox to make a tab. And this is just a piece of um, paper from a magazine and I just added some paper from the diary to make more journaling spots. This is the back side of the tissue paper box. I used some Ferrero Rocher gold foil to make um, a little doily tuck spot. And these are the little Star Wars um, things that Countdown are actually, we're actually selling. I just cut a piece off to just make a little bit of interest there. On the back of that, I've just cut a piece from a Christmas card, glued it down, made a little tuck spot out, a little tag out of a calendar. And this is just a twist tie for its holder. And the little tuck spot is again, one of those Star Wars things. This is an acrylic tag, which I don't know if you'll be able to see very well. Um, I ran the flowers, cut out the flowers from the acrylic, ran it through the embossing folder and I just put it onto the tag with um, a leftover bread that I had in my stash. And that just sits in there. Just like that. <laughs> this is the back of the um, gardening uh, brochure so I have made a tuck spot from an old spotlight catalogue I've lined it with white paper 
so that you can actually do some journaling on it. This is a piece of a coin envelope that I've just cut down. i put in two playing cards with paper on the back for journaling. And they just tuck in there and I just decorated the paper with the envelope with a piece of book paper. I cut out some trim, Tim Holtz trim from packaging. And this is another one of those um, tickets made from the pictures on the back of the calendar. And this is another one, another tag made with pictures from the back of the calendar. There's a little dog just to sit in there. And in here I've got a card from a pack I was given that I've never really used. But there's room in there for journaling. And another postcard. So on the back of that, I've used um, the paper off a can to make a belly band, and I've used a birthday card, and I've added in some tracing paper and some colouring book paper, and room at the back for journaling. This page is the back of the rest home page and I've glued a piece of magazine paper on it. I made a tag out of book paper with journaling paper on the back um, and I've cut out an on the fence die from Tim Holtz out of packaging and the girl, the tuck spot is from uh, Bride, an old bride magazine. On the back of that I have um, put the I'd cut a tag out of the book paper, so I've just used the book paper and put some white paper behind it for journaling, just to give another interesting journal spot. Here is the back of the children's book page with more room for journaling. Then this is the back of the book page, so what I've done is I have used a Mexican um, pamphlet and I've folded it so I've got tuck spots. These tags are made out of old birthday cards. And that's another tuck in there. And there's another tuck in here. This is made from an old birthday card room on the back for journaling, obviously. The tuck spots are made from playing cards and the tags are made from product packaging, again with the twist ties to hold the, as the tags. So I've left the back of the spear because there's room to write and put journaling on this page. And that's the back of the New World page that I, um, New World grocery bags and pack and save grocery bags. And that's it. And then to, to hold it all together, I have got a band, an elastic band, that was actually used to hold catheters in place, and that just holds it nicely. These can actually be dyed, but I, um, I've left them plain, so whoever gets this one can decide what they want to do with it. Thank you, and, and hopefully I'll get better with my videos. <laughs>